When the Lodge ghetto was sealed in May 1940, Henrik Ross was forced to move into the ghetto. He managed to get a job as one of the official photographers in the ghetto, which gave him access to film and processing facilities. He used these facilities to secretly take pictures of the suffering of the Jews in the ghetto. He hid his camera under his coat and he opened it slightly and took snaps of images he saw. In this fashion, he managed to accumulate thousands of pictures that show us now what life was like in the ghetto. A few of his pictures display public executions and deportations. One of these pictures was taken in 1944 at the railroad station in the Lodge ghetto. The photograph displays a cattle car and a group of people standing around it. If we look at the framing of the picture, we can see that it is not centered. And this is important because the photographer was very professional and he was skillful. Furthermore, there's actually a black part on the left-hand side on the picture and also building material in the foreground. And all of these images are actually blocking the view of the person looking at the picture. It shows us that he had to hide in order to take the picture. The frame is actually showing the conditions of his hiding place, that he did not manage to take a closer look at the actual scene. Once, as a cleaner, I succeeded in entering the station. The men closed me into a storeroom of cement. I stayed there from six in the morning till seven in the evening until the Germans left and the whole transport was sent off. I saw this transport leaving. I heard the cries. I saw the beatings. I saw the shootings. I saw them being murdered. Henrik Ross risked his life in order to show what the Nazis tried to hide. And when we combine his testimony with a picture, we actually learn much more about the scene that we are seeing in the picture. We see people boarding the train, but we don't know what happens inside the cattle car. And we also don't know what happens to the people when they arrive at their destinations. So only if we contextualize the picture and put it into context with other archives, like testimonies, maps, or historical accounts, do we gain a better understanding of what was going on. When the liquidation of the ghetto began in 1944, Ross decided to bury his archive into the grounds of the ghetto so it could be dug up later and bear witness to the persecution of European Jews. Just before the closure of the ghetto, I buried my negatives in the ground in order that there should be some record of our tragedy, namely the total elimination of the Jews from Lodz by the Nazi executioners. I was anticipating the total destruction of Polish Jewry I wanted to leave an historical record of our martyrdom. Henrik Ross survived the Holocaust and he managed to locate and dug up his material after the war. In comparison to the perpetrator pictures, we can see that his collection is exceptional because he clearly loved human beings and social interactions and felt compelled to commemorate the Jewish life in the Lodz ghetto. <laughs>